Hello and welcome to Locusts and Wild Honey, episode 11. Okay. For the last three weeks we've been thinking about the themes in the Orthodox Church of Preparation for Lent. The first one uh, was uh, the theme of desire, which we saw in Zacchaeus and his desire to see Jesus, overcoming the physical limitations he had, climbing the tree so that he could see Jesus on his way into town. And with the, uh, uh, he had a splendid outcome for Zacchaeus in a change in his life. In the second week, we thought about humility, about the publican and the Pharisee and their approach to God and how the uh, publican's attitude was one uh, based in humility, knowing who he was, uh, really in touch and grounded and had a real sense of his self in relation, in relation to God and to other people. And then last week we thought about being separated from everything that we know God, other people, uh, even separated from ourselves as we reflected on the parable of the prodigal son. I was going to finish this week as we've only uh, a few days left before Lent starts for us. And I wanted first to think about the final two themes in the Orthodox Church, but if you decided not to do that uh, this time, but to round things off with something I heard uh, a little while ago about how Lent can be seen. Uh, someone said to me that they saw Lent as an opportunity to find the way back. I thought that was a wonderful description of the whole subject of repentance in a sense and which is the overarching theme for Lent. We often all get caught up in the things that occupy us. I know that I do if I get passionate about something. It becomes all-consuming. It all takes over my life and I know that those around about me uh, actually it's, it's to their detriment and to the detriment of my relationship to them and to everything else uh, that I do. Certainly uh, household things tend to go by the board, things that really I ought to be giving my attention to de get neglected because I have this, uh, this passion and all-consuming desire to, uh, to do what's on my mind. Desire is a good thing as we uh, heard right at the beginning. Uh, without desire there's a sense in which we wouldn't do anything. Uh, so as long as it's the right desire and the right amount of desire, uh, then that's fine. But when it becomes all-consuming, as it can do, then our lives tend to get twisted and distorted. And indeed, it can be to the detriment of our health. I know that I think it's in Psalm 69, a verse that I always remember. Uh, the psalmist there it says, Zeal for your house has consumed me zeal for your house has eaten me up and when we get really passionate about things uh, if we're not careful we can be consumed by that passion by whatever it is that we have such a great desire to see realized in our life and so in this next six weeks of Lent it is an opportunity actually to find our way back to where we should be, find our way back to the right relationship with God, with other people and indeed with ourselves. I thought that it was a, a wonderful term, find the way back. And so maybe you'll be able to, during this uh, coming time of Lent, to find your way back, especially find your way back to God and to other people and to yourself. Thank you very much for watching. Please do remember to share this video as far as you can so that other people may benefit from the word and please do like it as well 
and comment. If you find the video helpful, then please do let me know your comments. Thank you very much and I'll see you again next time. Bye. <laughs>